Welcome to the Lockdown Economy, a social nonprofit initiated by the think tank Alter Contacts to help small business and self-employed professionals to overcome the challenges of the pandemic and reactivate the economy. In Albania, it is done in collaboration with the Popa University. My name is Sveira Kodja, and today our guest is John Kodja, the manager of the Biodiversai Cafe. He will share with us a general description how have he managed to cope the pandemic situation and what strategies have he implemented to uh, keep business performance. Hello, John, how are you? Hello, it's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, for me too. Now I would like to start with a question about uh, your business. Yeah, sure. how how uh, first I would like to start with a question to know more about your business. What do you be, what do you do as a business? How long have you been doing doing it, and uh, where are you based? So we are a coffee bar located in the suburbs of our city, Duras. Uh, we opened two years ago since it was a necessity to have a bar near the big market of Duras, since there are very few bars and uh, they don't work effectively. And it was a necessity, and although a big strategy of our business to open a bar located in this area. In this area, there are no coffee that serve a good quality coffee. Our coffee is ground organic Italian coffee, since we have a bigger culture of coffee consumption. Since we know the Albanians, they have the most coffee consumptions in most of the city of, of the countries of Europe. What about the employees? How many employees do you have, and uh, how many how many clients do you normally have? Okay, we have uh, regarding the employment, we have seven employees in total. Each employee is qualified to do a specific job. About the clients before the lockdown, we had about 120 clients per day, maybe even in most days we had over even 160 clients. But that number was reduced to about 50% after the pandemic started. And so we could say that the pandemic really affected us as it affected every other business in Albania and every world, every, every place of the world. Uh, another question is that many business, of course, the pandemic uh, situation has affected many uh, business, some of them much more. And but uh, what I wanted to know is that how did you manage the lockdown? What did you do on the business from during the lockdown? In the beginning. In the beginning of the lockdown, it was an unexpected situation for us and for everyone, uh, which means but we had to take precautions. Uh, the first thing that we did when the lockdown started in March, uh, as all the other business, we were completely closed. We were in quarantine mode and uh, yeah, no business was open. That really affected us in a negative way since the, even the economy was not very great. Before the lockdown, we had the also problems because uh, Duras was affected by a major earthquake, which even affected a little bit even the bar, and we had to do some construction. But uh, also, we had problems uh, with the con construction of the bar. We had to reconstruct some parts of the building since it was damaged. But after that, uh, that affected us in our economy. But after that, the global pandemic started, and we were closed about like two months, and. Uh, uh, after that, uh, after that, when we start like opening up, it is important that uh, in a business motivation should be part of the working process. And I wanted to ask, what have you done to stimulate your customers and also your employee? Actually, we did not make any major stimulation after the lockdown. Uh, Mainly when we reconstructed the bar, we made some reconstruction after the earthquake hit, hit, hit the city of Duras. And after the lockdown, we just made some minor constructions. And uh, the, about the stimulation, which means we did, we did not make any major stimulation since we know Albanians love their coffee. And they cannot start their daily routine without their coffee. And to keep in touch with our customers, we ensure that every client's get their coffee. We start distributing it from outside the bar and also shipping it to their homes. 
since we started like shipping or selling coffee in cardboard material materials and uh, this really helped us to create a strong connection with our clients and this was the major stimulation uh, how is your business going now I mean, the, bo the business right now is increasing, but not the same as before the pandemic, since people, a lot of people are also affected. Like we have a lot of customers that were sick from COVID. They were infected with COVID. And of course, they are scared that they can get reinfected. And also, they don't, fr they don't frequently go into clubs or coffees anymore. We're trying to offer our clients the best coffee that we possibly could offer so they can be satisfied. Yeah what about your competitors how they are doing how they are facing this pandemic situation actually the competitors as every other business they're struggling i mean they had support of course they had support from the government but uh, they're struggling because nothing could be as before in the especially in the small business like we are uh, they're almost the same the, the same as us the same they were affected in the same way. They struggled, uh, like we have a lot of customers that lost their job and their business. And the bars that are near us, of course, they're a small business since they were also in debt. They were affected neg negatively and also they had to close the business because of this. What is your outlook of the upcoming months regarding in the next few months, uh, we expect like an increase in customers since we're also working with marketing. Uh, we're also having advertisements uh, on social networks that can really help. But uh, I think the biggest help that uh, could make the change and could increase the number of customers is the quality of the, of the coffee that we offer. Since we're the only bar, I think, in our city that we truly offer organic coffee. And uh, in the upcoming few months, we expect, especially in the summer, we expect an increase of customers since uh, this is also correlated with the decrease of cases of people with uh, COVID. And we hope at least since the, also the vaccine came out, we hope that uh, the situation will get better. And if, of course, if, if the pandemic goes away, if the COVID goes away, then of course businesses or business will start booming again, like in the good old days. The last question is, what are the main three things that you as a business need help? Like the biggest help right now is uh, marketing, expansion of the bar, and also we're working on expanding the children playground in our bar, in our coffee bar. We also have a children that we're trying to expand since uh, this is a family bar. It's all frequent with family people that come here. And uh, this is the major three <laughs> things that we would need help. Thank you very much for your uh, interview, for accepting the interview. It was a pleasure for me. And I hope this situation will pass as uh, soon as possible. And uh, yeah, wish we you all hope so. the best. And Thank you so much. Thank you everyone who joined us today. Feel free to contact John using the description below. I invite you to like this video and subscribe to our channel. In the coming weeks, we are going to share more insights with you. Stay tuned. Thank you very much.